In fact, it's been a trend for a very long time. <clears throat> this Nigeria versus Ghana battle have been a beef I've been waiting at the column. It's been on and on and on for a very long time and uh, mm, <laughs> hold on. Can you see me guys? I mean you they see me. To me, even as a Nigerian, uh it's not funny. You know, I lived in Ghana for six years, more than six years. I lived in Accra, Spain Test Road, to be precise. Ghana is a beautiful city, a beautiful country. Okay, hmm. sorry, yo. I'm going to put this microphone directly in my mouth. I want every word spoken in this video to be picked for reference sake because i know of course some delusional people are going to come and they don't hear they will just leave comments of points first hi everyone what's up and welcome back to another video if you are new here hi my name is lillian but if you're an og thank you for always coming back to watch my videos do it to hit the subscription button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so that anytime i upload a video you will get notified yeah now before you leave me a comment if you are in agreement with me or not i will like you to take a seat and understand the video before leaving a comment with that being said can we go straight into the video all right please don't forget to like this video this is a reaction video and this is me expressing my sh my shock i was on my way to kowu for the easter youtube introduced this particular video to me on the front page of my new youtube channel and i was like wait a minute I mean, I thought it was clickbait. So by the time I clicked, there she was speaking. And I was like, who are you? Because I want to get to know you. Like, who is this one? This one is the only intelligent person that I have seen on YouTube in a very long while. Yeah, I decided to search for her with my other channel <laughs> with this channel i'm reacting to now and um, i said okay let me get home where the environment is a lot calm where there are, where there's no noise so that i'll get to hear what she's saying maybe i'm misunderstanding her but i watched the video there she is saying these things a millionaire rank drop as you enter their country yet Somehow, you feel you're better than them. Who does that? This Nigeria versus Ghana battle, I've been a beef, I've been waiting at Ukola. It's been on and on and on for a very long time. It's not funny to me, even as a Nigerian, uh, it's not funny. My religion, hold on, before we even go further into the video of this Nigerian beauty that just came forth, to testify this is testimony okay this is not criticism whatsoever this is someone testifying in my own religion i have a belief and that belief according to the book of my religion is that pride comes before a fall and the bible made it very clear that is the book of my religion okay the bible made it very clear that he will reduce that is he god will reduce the proud those that are proud he will reduce them to nothing and that he will rise those who humble themselves and i was thinking that this prophecy okay maybe i've seen a couple of people deal with that but i didn't know that this could also be referred to nations to you understand this can happen to nations because if not so look at it now this is a manifestation of a prophecy that has been written long long time ago otherwise no you think i'm not just just close your eyes from hating on me okay don't worry about me because the hatred got nothing on me just close your eyes for a moment and tell me why a country that used to be the envy of all black nations is all of a sudden a country that its inhabitants are running away to 
any way possible like the jackpot syndrome aka traveling abroad everybody is running and holding their shoes in their hands and they are running away kitty kitty kata kata they are running away where are you going from a country that used to be that country that everybody wants to migrate to everybody wants to have a taste of nigeria the europe of africa all of a sudden that same country is now a country that now lives like pagans forget the social media or whatever you see this lady i have never endorsed any nigerian that i stumbled on that i do not know personally i have seen a couple of nigerians do videos and hey, ghana is this ghana is you know they do this for some months and then the next time you will go back to their pages they have they have manifested their true colors have manifested but now i'm seeing this lady at first glance at first time listening to her i knew that there is no how this person is faking it because there where is the lie inside where where is the lies this is not one that is researching to rehearse and create content based on this is someone that is speaking from experience and she is so intelligent to worsen the pain of nigerians this my sister is beautiful she's not just beautiful she's intelligent and i I hate to judge people based on social media but you see this lady one two minutes three five minutes of watching this woman you can tell that she's very intelligent and fearless except if you are not intelligent you'll not be able to notice that and i'm like damn why i'm reacting to her video is not because she spoke the truth Mm -mm. it is because i would have reacted if she had spoken both this way or the other if she has spoken against the truth i would have reacted you know i'm in for that and i'm going to be on that for quite some time so i think i should let you guys listen to her some clips because the video long eh, were a long way way but due to the youtube community guidelines her intellectual property must be protected so i'm going to react to some part of that video and if you want to watch the full video you can go on our channel watch the full video i lived in ghana for six years, more than six years, I lived in Accra, Spain Test Road to be precise. Ghana is a beautiful city, a beautiful country. Accra is a beautiful city. Mm. <laughs> and Spain Test, where I stayed, lovely place filled with Nigerians, you know. So many Nigerians live in Spain Text get community 18, get community 20, 19, 22, this, that, Sakomono, Tema, Nigerians, everywhere. Troll, I walk freely, I go only meal, I go and buy things, I come back. 1 a.m. Sometimes if I really want to, if I want to cruise, I go enter, there's this bike, Kekeno, I will enter Kekeno from here to Kotonu. Go to beach, the bridge. I just put my ear, uh, my headset, put my music on. Mm. Enter bike. Kutonu. 12 midnight, 1 a.m. Bike. Okada. Yes. To Kotonu. Kotonu is about, it's over one hour drive from where I am. If I want to enjoy that late night cruise, enter bike. I go to beach. It's night. Nice. Go. Look around, have fun. 2 3 a.m. Blow bike, come back, I can view. I would like to say that Nigerians apologize to Ghana. I'm aware, I'm aware. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. DSS are coming. Mm -mm. Don't worry about that. DSS are coming. Yes, the plans are on the way to get fake DSS to come and arrest me. I know that, but before dss come whether they fake or the real one before dss will abandon all the kidnappers in nigeria all the arm robbers all the handsmen you know them and then the, before they abandon all these people the ritualists the rapists in nigeria to come and arrest me and other youtubers in ghana 
I want to spill. Wait, seriously, I thought I was the only one that loves Nig that loves my country, Nigeria. But seeing this lady is like a breath of fresh air. I've always looked at some Nigerians in a way that I feel like everything they are doing is intentional. Like they hate the country so much and that is why they do things, harsh things, like despicable, unimaginable things in the name of that country so that that country will be seen, will be seen as a bad country and everybody will be hated and that country will be destroyed maybe one day people will just come destroy that country because they are a problem to everybody and then they will now form their own country that has always been the case and i look around to see if i can find one single sensible intelligent individual that is ready to save nigeria i have not been able to see forget all this fake nonsense this woman this fake fake peacemaker this what's her name if I mention her name, I've given her publicity. Come on, girl. This girl here is sitting pretty at 17K subscribers. It's about time I don't just do things. And it didn't occur to me until a few, uh, some weeks now I've been thinking about it. I have to carry myself and raise it because it's time to raise. I shouldn't just be calling people names or associate myself with people anyhow because i am a big youtuber but it's okay on youtube here you can wake up tomorrow you are big you can wake up tomorrow you are no longer big so i know that and of course because i am a strong believer of the book of my religion that says we should stay humble um this woman's name is or uh, whatever pride yeah there's a pride to her name and she's fake she lies a lot so looking at her and of course the number one destroyer of the image of nigerians on youtube ajimaxi agent of this that one is just obvious that he want to just destroy nigeria you know he just want to destroy nigeria keep his own country aside destroy nigeria so i'm not see i've seen all of these people back like dog that particular woman there's something bright you know she lies a lot and i have been worried is this the type of people that i have been cohabiting all this while dear god and i didn't die thank you jesus because because you know what it means to live with liars wolves people that lies people that have mastered the craft of lying and they don't feel bad about it they don't feel guilty about it they just want to be they just want to lie she has this way of pushing her narrative you know trying to force it down people's throat and the strategy to grow her channel was this because she won't she understand you see see some people smart people not intelligent too smart people has a way of doing things right first they study your weak points and use that as a strategy to get your attention so i think she have realized that Ghanaians loves to they love to support anything that regards their their country they love to watch whatever it has to do with ghana so of course her nigerians will never give her the support because of course she is nobody just the way it is in real life she's absolutely nobody so nobody gives her the attention and then she want to use that strategy to to build up the channel and they use it to hate on Ghanaians, to show them the real true feelings and for some time i've been on that topic telling people beware of this woman i can see her coming later she manifested but that is that now let's talk about this breath of fresh air this intelligent woman like how did you get so powerful to be so independent and she's a mom see i've taken time i'm yet to subscribe anyway i'm i'm a bit slow when it comes to hitting the subscription button on people's channel because i have seen i know my people very well i know my people but it my first glance at this lady i knew she's not faking see when people are faking and you pretend not to see it's because you have a problem maybe you're not intelligent because when someone is, is faking their body language gives their body language will give them away except you just 
except we are the type that loves to ignore red flags but this lady okay and all i could see is a passionate woman who loves her country so much but <laughs> and she may have tried her best to get everyone or the people around her to do what is right but it's not forthcoming because you know my people <laughs> You know, my people, if you, if you have lived with Nigerians before, you will know how intentional my people are when it comes to destroying. Yeah, DSS, DSS, get ready, okay? I don't mind giving you my address. Get ready to come to Ghana. Abandon all the issues back at home. Come to Ghana and arrest me. But before they arrest, let me speak. At least we can all watch this video while I'm in detention, right? So this lady, hold on. Let's go back to her videos. Times. Because the things you people are suffering, they cannot relate. They don't understand. They don't know what it means. They, they, they hardly travel out of their countries because they are enjoying their peace. What are they going to look for? It's even expensive living in the country. So how much more? You are, you are traveling because your money no get value. You they, your millions for Nigeria. Yeah, travel and change it now. Naira that has become the most useless currency in, in, in West Africa right now, if not the whole world. But the truth is, if you if you think you are better than people, why do you bother to try so hard to prove a point to those people? Reverse is the case. Ghanaians are the ones that just don't care. Hey, Nigeria, fine. Nigerians, Niger, Nigeria, Nigeria is better than Ghana. No problem. Just go on. Why they are chilling? They are the one enjoying life, and they are the one who don't try to mock Nigeria. They are the ones who don't mock Nigerians, but Nigerians are constantly on this matter. Eh, small Ghana, ordinary this, ordinary for country when look at how my lighting is glowing. Country when get electricity, ordinary for country when we say they know they do medical tourism already. Medical tourism, you know, say it's not be everything with a post, right? PSS, please be on standby. If I finish this video and they are not here, then another lose for Nigeria. You're kind of wondering, okay, these people you are better than them according to you. So what is it again? It's okay now. You're good. They enjoy your goodness, but every day it's only you that is running to Ghana only that the ones that i have not seen any nigerian that move from ghana back to nigeria if you know one let me know the ones that have done that are, are lamenting like they are complaining they are complaining and sweating and and feeling like they wish it's one of their wishes like it's the biggest dream of theirs to come back including that including that stupid woman and her useless audience majority of the people commenting on that on that channel are all living in ghana they wish so bad against all things that they can come back to ghana and continue living here but it's too late already because now which money are you gonna use the one that you save while you are in ghana you thought you are rich hmm. you went there and realized they went back and realized that the cost of living in nigeria is not the nigeria they used to know Nigeria now is more expensive to live in Nigeria than in Ghana and I'm happy I'm still here because last year was a very difficult year for me and there were times I contemplated going back home because I thought you know because I thought that Nigeria of then is the same as it is now and I was just tired of so many things I was tired of never having enough Nigeria of then and now are not the same and my pastor told me that you don't know you are rich my daughter you are rich pastor said to me do you know that everything is all right with you you are thinking is not but it is this is a man who has never been to ghana and one of his dreams in life is to visit ghana and i will make that happen for him god will use me to bring that man to visit here touch this land and go back you did get moral they insult people where they have only pass your home you be millionaire for nigeria enter ghana enter the republic Wait too. But do you know that it's truth? Ghanaians are richer than Nigerians. You don't know. <laughs> yes, they are. Even me living in Ghana like this. If you are in Nigeria and you are rich, me, I'm in Ghana. I'm living here. I'm richer than you. Ghanaians are richer than Nigerians. 
Do you know how much 1,000 Ghana cities is? That's 100,000 ever. And some of these people insulting you on social media. Their salary is, they earn under 30K, 40K. That is what they earn a month. And it means that I can actually employ someone if I was to be in Nigeria. I'll have like 10 domestic staffs working for me. You know, if I'm, if I'm actually, see, had it been I live in Nigeria, do you know that I could actually employ as many as three house help, let's say one nanny for my little girl, and then two, one cleaner, one, um, one what, one what, one what, just to make me feel rich, you know, that's how they do it, to intimidate you and you think they are rich. You, right now, as it stands, Nigerians and Ghanaians, Ghanaians are richer than Nigerians. <laughs> And there is joy in my heart. But one day I will talk about that. Not now. Because now the process is ongoing. One day I will talk about how the way I carry myself, the way I live my life in all honesty, regardless of where I come from, is paying off. I will, I will talk about that in another video. I'm not talking about YouTube or out of YouTube. But one day I will talk about it on this channel. This lady is saying the truth. I need more Nigerians like her, like five. Five Nigerians like this woman. Because she looks like an influential person, someone that can influence others. If you have a Nigerian like, we have five Nigerians like this, we can train the minds of younger Nigerians to start to see life differently. In conclusion, I am in agreement with her. Ghana is better than Nigeria.